everybody, and welcome to your May 2018 episode of Out of the Vault. If you're new to my channel, let me just say welcome. It is a pleasure to have you, especially when it comes to this specific segment where we talk about nothing but the magic of Disney. And included in that is Disney Pixar and the great studio Ghibli Library. And I felt that today was all the more appropriate because of the fact that we are going to be talking about Studio Ghibli films today. So we're going to be talking about the 20th Studio Ghibli film and the final Isao Takahashi Takahata directed film from 2013, The Tale of the Princess Kaguya, because of the fact that he recently passed away at the age of 82. It is based on a Japanese folktale of a bamboo cutter who discovers a little girl inside a bamboo tree, and he brings him home to his wife, and they raise her as their own daughter, and they call her princess. And as she grows and enjoys the farm life of her woodcutting parents, her father believes that she is meant for bigger and greater things, and he basically treats her like royalty and very much protects her, and one day he and his wife decide that it's time to bring her to the capital and get introduced to nobility and high society and eventually get married to a very powerful man in the capital. And the question that's going to be in this entire story is, will Princess feel that this is the life for her, or does she crave something simpler? And more importantly, how was she discovered inside a bamboo tree, and where did she exactly come from? So, it took a little bit of time for this movie to reach the United States for the English dub, and this film, of course, was voiced by Chloe Grace Moretz, who played Princess, as well as her parents, who were played by James Caan and Mary Stringburgen. And this movie was definitely something that intrigued me, because all Studio Ghibli films are films that you need to see, whether you like them at the end of the day or not. But this one looked so interesting, and that's what I love so much about Isao Takahata. I always look at him as the better director because he is a very innovative director in terms of animation styles, but he also tells much deeper, deeper stories, and they have very good morals and meanings, and the animation of this film was absolutely breathtaking. It was watercolor cell animation and rough pencil sketches and very simplistic, but at the same time extremely beautiful and complex in terms of the imagery and colors. And the story, while it is an extremely long story, there's so much to take in from this film and there are so many lessons to be learned. Princess is definitely a character that gives me so much beauty and so much intrigue and the way that she changes from a happy young girl to a melancholy princess of royalty really makes me reflect on life because it, there's a time where we always hit a crossroad and we have to go on a path to self-discovery and at the same time we have loved ones, family members who are always driving us to go in a certain direction when in fact we may want to go in a completely different direction and it leads to sadness, it leads to depression, it leads to heartbreak but at the same time at the end of the day when you've decided to make the decision that you have and go on the journey that you choose if it does in fact make you happy, you will reap the reward regardless of all of the sadness that you had before it. It also has some amazing animation sequences. There is a moment where Princess just gets so overwhelmed and she is just running from the palace all the way through the forest and it looks like a pencil scratchy blurb just like dashing through. Like, at some point in time, it doesn't even look human. But it is just something that you just soak in. And not just that, there's a beautiful score in this movie. Probably one of the best scores that I've ever heard in a Studio Ghibli film. And just listening to the sounds and how it balances out with the animation is absolutely breathtaking. And you are just enthralled by these characters and this story with everything that comes along with it. But there is a little bit of a downside to this movie, and that's just because because of the fact that there's a very slow burn to go with this movie. There's a lot of stuff that you have seen probably in other films, and yes, it's a very slow-paced movie, and there's a lot of points in time where there's not even any dialogue, and you just get lost in the visual and facial expressions of the characters. Is that something that is supposed to be disliked? 
No. But is it something that an average moviegoer who probably has never seen an anime in their life may feel when they're watching a movie like The Tales of Princess Kaguya? Most likely, yes. And that's probably the main reason why I will still say, in regards to Takahata's work, Grave of the Fireflies is so much better, just because of the nature of the story and the fact that it's somewhat based on true events and that it really does hit home with you in the end. But this is a beautiful fairy tale, and that is something that Studio Ghibli is known for. They put new spins on fairy tales, they give it to a modern audience to truly enjoy, and especially because of the fact that they don't heavily rely on 3D animation, the beauty of the basics and the origins of animation that is used within their films just reminds me how powerful their films are and what difference makers and game changers they really were. And now that Isao Takahata has left us with a movie like The Tale of Princess Kaguya, his legacy has officially been sealed and will go down as one of the most praised of all time. And I would definitely recommend that you see this movie, especially... If you are an animation fan, if you're a Studio Ghibli fan, an anime fan, it's definitely something that is not going to leave your mind for a while. It will resonate with you, especially if you are a film appreciator. I own this movie, I have seen this movie numerous times, and I still do appreciate this film to a great extent. I'm going to give The Tale of Princess Kaguya three and a half stars out of four. So thank you very much for watching, everybody. Please leave your comments in the box below, and let's discuss The Tale of Princess Kaguya, and I'm looking forward to discussing another Disney film. But what will it be? Well, we'll find out next month. I'll see you in the next one. Hey, thank you so much for stopping by my channel today. If you're new here and want to see more of what my channel has to offer, please click on the link to my last video or hit that subscribe button to be kept up to date with all of my uploads. Content of all sorts is posted here quite often, so trust me, you do not want to fall behind. I will see you in the comments, and actions speak louder than words.